Hello my dear children. Today we are going to start a new unit. Unit 5. Animals and their food habits. We already have studied that animals are classified based on their food habits. As herbivorous, carnivorous and omnivorous. So look at that yellow color box. That is your Previous knowledge. Now can we read the story from the textbook? Hi friends, I am Avantika, studying in Standard 4. I have a number of friends at my school. Every year, our school conducts tour programs. Last year, we visited Planetarium at Calicut. And we got a chance to learn a lot about stars, planets and other celestial objects. This year we went to Mysore. We visited the zoo there. The animals in the zoo were simply amazing. It was a great experience to all of us. Our science teachers accompanied us and explained to us many things about the animals. The best experience was the face-to-face -face roar of a lion. World of Birds We all reached there at 9.30 in the morning. Teachers bought the tickets. We entered the zoo. We were directed to the bird section. There were many trees full of birds with a net covering to prevent their escape. There were many types of nests. Some were big and some were very small. The chirping of different types of birds was lovely. I will show you some of the photographs taken from there. Can you identify the birds given in the picture? Write their names. Observe the beaks of the birds. Are all the beaks similar here? No. They have different types of beaks. Why do they have different types of beaks? Because they take different types of food. You will just look these birds. Are they eating same type of food? They are eating different types of food. So they have different types of food beaks. Birds are using their beaks to carry out different tasks. They do not have hands to work. Can you list some of them? So here six points are needed to write. So what are the functions of a beak? To capture or gather food. You look at this vulture or eagle they are using their beaks to capture or gather food. So, what about other birds? They are using the beaks for making nest. The second point is here is to make nest. And third point, the beaks are used to, to clean their feathers. You may have seen the birds are using the beaks. To clean their feathers. If some insects are there in between the feathers means they will take it by using the beaks. To feed their young ones. You have seen the birds are carrying something. The worms and all. The parent birds are taking the worms and they will feed their young ones. So they are using the beaks to feed their young ones. To protect themselves. So beaks are used to protect themselves. If we are going to catch the bird, bird will be trying to protect themselves by using the beak. So one more function you need to write. That we can discuss in the live class. Which are the birds in the picture? So here two pictures are given. Can you identify these birds? 
the first one is pigeon the second one is sparrow aren't the beaks short and hard yes these birds are having beaks very short and hard so they are called crushing beaks so which are the birds are having crushing beaks pigeon and sparrow what are the character of this crushing beaks the beaks are short and hard you look the hummingbird what is the shape of beak here beak is long and slender how does it take nectar from flower by using the beak how do you drink cool drinks using a straw we suck through the straw isn't it like that only these hummingbirds will suck the nectar from flowers so hummingbirds are having sucking beak so what is the character of that sucking beak it will be long and slender have you seen the pelican scooping fishes from water observe the pouch under its beak what is the shape of the beak pouch like beak isn't it it can expand when it is trying to scoop up fishes so they are sifting or filtering food from water so it is called sifting beak do you have a parrot at home you can write your answer there what is the shape of its beak its hook and strong beak look at the picture it is hook shape and strong beak it is used for cracking nuts and seeds you may have seen the parrots are using their beaks to crack the nuts and seeds what do we call these type of beaks cracking beaks okay parrots use their beaks to climb the trees also what are these birds observe the peculiarities of their beaks they are sharp to cut flesh see that they are strong and hooked their hook type beaks are little more pointed the upper beaks are little more pointed towards down how are they using their beaks they will tear and cut crack the food items so they are called tearing beaks how does a woodpecker feed on insects do you know what is this it is chisel the masons are use this chisel with the hammer to shape the wood the woodpecker's beak has the shape of a chisel so woodpecker use their strong sharp beaks to bore into the trees to make homes and to find insects to eat what are the food of crows you all know that crows are omnivorous so it will eat both plant products and flesh of other animals so you look at the picture of the bird crow's beak the beak is suitable to take all type of food they are of multi purpose beak observe the food taken by other birds and the shapes of the beak it is clear that shape of beak is suitable to take the food that the bird eats these type of changes in the body are called adaptation look at that green color box what do you mean by adaptation a process of change by which an organism become better suited to its environment is called adaptation i will give another example adaptation makes the animal to live in a suitable 
habitat for example fishes fishes adaptation their body adapted to live in water penguins body adapted to live in extreme cold temperature so like that here birds are having the suitable beaks which are helping them to take their food habits okay this type of changes is called adaptation clothes are different we were walking in groups of five students each suddenly one group moved to a nearby pond dilip shouted a big duck dilshar said no it's a swan look it is catching a fish how does a swan swim in water why can't all birds swim so this swan is adapted to live in water they can swim in water so some adaptations are happen in swan's body observe the picture there and try to list out the speciality of the birds living in water so can we discuss the characters of swan to swim in water the first character is its webbed claws you look at the claws it is webbed it is connected so this webbed claws are helpful to swim in the water the other characters of swan to swim in water are spoon like beak its beak is like a spoon so it can catch fishes from water and next character is its long thin legs to walk on water so in some distance it can walk on water because their legs are thin and long the another important character is about their feathers their feathers are waterproof feathers their feathers are covered by a waxy coating so when they shake their feathers water will fall down so it will be helping these birds to swim in water the next character is long neck to take food from water it can use the long neck to capture the food from water these are the adaptation of a swan to swim in water or we can tell these are the characters of a swan to swim in water in a nearby cage there was an eagle eating a dead rat but its toes and claws were quite different from those of a duck why these differences what is the use of claws in eagle to catch and hold food not only that they use their claws for to protect them from enemies and look at the second picture that eagle is holding a fish from the water so the fish is the prey of that eagle the prey cannot escape from the claws the claws are tightly catching the fish okay they are called preying birds can you find out more examples of like this birds observe how the toes and claws of the birds are adapted to catch and hold food and protect them from enemies next we can discuss about perching birds you may see in some birds are sitting on the twigs of the trees small small branches of the trees have you seen a crow sitting on a tree how many toes do they have can we count first look at the toes of the bird how many toes are there three toes facing forward and one toe facing backward so total four toes are there these toes they are using to tighten around the branches of the tree so 
they do not fall even when they sleep birds like sparrows finches use their toes to perch on the branch of trees so they do not fall even when they sleep can you find out more examples for perching birds have you ever observed a woodpecker climbing on a tree if you have observed you need to tell how many toes do they have now you find how many toes are there for a woodpecker there are four toes the second picture you observe that four toes two toes are facing forward and two toes are facing backward so they can balance so the first picture you see perching bird three toes are facing front one toe is facing back an eagle is see sharp so they can hold their prey and last one the webbed claws of a swimming bird what about the toes of a parrot you count how many toes are there four toes two toes pointing forward and two toes pointing backward so they can climb the trees so they are called climbing birds have you observed hen with chicks in your home yard searching insects from the soil how do they get insects they scratch the so ground to eat insects and seeds they are sharp and hard claws help them to dig the soil while digging they claws may get injuries but the claws go on growing that is the speciality of hen's claw you count how many toes are there for a hen four toes three at the front one toe at the back now at last we can discuss about running birds which cannot fly but they can run fast do you know flightless bird what are they so i have given four examples here ostrich emu kiwi penguin etc how many toes do they have they have three toes on each foot the middle toe is little more sharper how do they escape from enemies they can run fast and they can fight with the middle sharp toe the middle toe is little more elongated little more long and sharp so they can fight with that middle sharp toe with their enemies